Hello, it's Jane here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to run through some testing. And I'm going to go over how we're going to set the models up to actually test out the punch and the hit effect so when we run through it you have to remember that this is unfinished so this is only the basics in place and of course we are going to polish it up as we go along but as you can see I've just chosen the black robot alt for now and what I've done is I've actually signed the tag head hit to the whole model. So go ahead and do that. Remember to hit apply and then delete. And again, this is a tag. We will be changing this, obviously. But we're just going to sign it to the whole model for now. Just to test, see if it works. Now... I've preset it up for this video and I will be honest normally when I'm trying to concentrate on recording and talking and narrating this video I normally always forget something so I thought I'll get it all set up and then go over exactly what I have done. So here we are with the original black robot remember we've assigned the tag to the alt version. So I'm just coming back to the standard version and we're going to dig down into the tree for this model. Now if you look here you can see for each wrist I've assigned the opponent head hit script, no need for a tag and I've added a sphere collider and just checked is trigger now again this sphere collider is only for testing just to make things easy now when you do it I suggest something like a box or capsule collider and just adjust its size to actually fit the arm of the actual model so in fact maybe capsule isn't the best let's come back physics box collider so I'll probably do this in fact I will be doing this later but for now Let's just go over how I, well roughly how I would set it up. So I'd probably set the box collider for something like that. Now obviously I've done it very quickly. You can spend your time to actually get it lined up really well with your model just make sure its trigger is ticked but as I said I'm going to leave the sphere collider for now for testing just because it makes it easier to see so that's all you need to do but a word of warning now depending on your model will depend on where you can get away actually putting these actual scripts so some of you may just be able to if I zoom in a bit click the arm and assign it there now the problem is with the models I'm using if I try and do that unfortunately the actual colliders remain as the model were in a t-pose even when an animation's running so because you're all going to be using different models 
I cannot give you a definitive answer on to where you put these. So probably the best thing to do is if we start the game up. Don't worry, we're in splash screen. We'll pause it. And then we'll center in on the model. Must remember to pause, obviously, or the model's going to continue to drop. And as you can see, the sphere colliders are in the correct place at the end of the arm. So if yours isn't, dig down deeper into your model and find a point in which it works. So let's just come back, I can delete that now. And what I've done, if I come to prefabs, as you can see here, hit sparks. Now, again, this is something I'll, probably, I'll tweak as I go along. But to create this, I've just come to prefabs and it was the flare that I used. So if I drag that in and we expand it, we have three components. And all I've done is change the duration to one and switch looping off. For each and every one of them, I've then gave it a new name and just dragged that into my prefabs folder. And again, it's perfectly fine to go into prefabs rather than resources. So, we are actually at a point where we can test this out. Now, the hit sparks are just going to instantiate into the scene. We haven't waited on position as of yet. That will be coming, the code for that. So please stay tuned. But for now, we just want to make sure that the audio effects work, the actual sparks loading into the scene, and that the robot that we're going to hit, the black robot alternative, is actually going to play the head hit animation that's all we're looking for at this particular moment so as you can see in the opponent ai i've assigned the hit sparks and i've also assigned an audio clip for the hit it's not the most ideal audio clip for this project but it's the only one i could find that was copyright free so We'll go with that for now. So, we're going to come to scripts. Now, if we come to the opponent manager, and of course you will have to set up all your models eventually, but for now, if you just want a specific opponent to load, so in this case, I want to, I'm going to select the black robot, which means it should load the alternative as my opponent. And we can just come down to this line in the void start, underscore opponent order. We've got open and close brackets, random order equals underscore op temp. We'll just paste that in with the quotation marks and we'll just save that off. Now you don't have to do this, but it is handy for testing. So let's hit play. And bear with me while I grab my controller. So I have my controller now, so we'll just wait for it to run through. I'll see if we're going to do everything just fine. We're in the character select again if we come to scene. And there we go. My camera seems to be in the middle of nowhere then. So, as you can see, the sphere collides are in the correct place at this point. So, just as before. So, let's come back. Obviously, you can still select your fighter. I 
I think the little judder there is due to the fact that the actual operating system of my computer is on an SSD but this project is actually being loaded from the secondary hard drive so sometimes that happens but it shouldn't happen once we actually build the game so let's load it Round one. Fight. and we'll come to scene one so we have the black robot which is us and the black robot clone which is the opponent so let's come towards the opponent let's strike them as you can see i know the sound effect is pretty weak we will really want a big clank crash of metal but as i said this is the only sound effect we have or i was able to find that's available and suitable for youtube so i've had to go with that but the sound effect plays as you can see, the hit sparks are loading into the scene. They're loading in here. But we are going to change that. We'll add code later that will um, actually instantiate them at the point of impact. But what is really pleasing is that if you watch the opponent on the right and watch the head movement... The head actually moves and the body sways back. That's the hit animation playing. So, as you can see, everything we've done so far works. It's not perfect, far from it. We have a lot of work to do, even up to this point. But you can see things are starting to work you can see the models starting to interact with each other now i sometimes think there's a little um misconception about fighting games that just because you're in a single screen it's not like you're building a big open world game that this should be easy to develop that is not the case if you want a fighting game that's going to be really good and have all the little interactions and all the little effects that you expect we're also going to add a sort of camera shake for blows as well similar to other fighting games um, that will be optional though you won't need to put that in if you do not wish to have that and um, and now, as I said, we've we've got a lot of work to do, but hopefully, for those of you, which I know the way that you was uh, wanting me to run through, which I'm quite happy to do in this video, you wanted to see it working and actually operating. Now, I must admit, the animations for these characters are on the slower side, so. What I'll probably do is do a lesson, it'll probably be much later in the series where we handle actual animation speeds and actually get this game running a lot faster. You may not need to do that for your project depending on the assets you are using. As you can see we have also have a problem with particle effects remaining, we'll need to destroy those. So still a lot of work to do just to polish up what we've done so far but hopefully this um, will make you all happy watching this video that you can see progress even if it's slow and you can actually start to see things working yes it all looks very anemic right now there's not really that clash, that excitement you expect from a fighting game, but that will come later. This is all about getting things working and we'll deal with all those little nuances to really give it feel, give it an atmosphere as a fighting game later on as we go along. So... In the very next lesson, back to it I think, and we'll deal with polishing up what we've done so far, at least to some degree. 
I may do some polishing and then do some new features, come back and polish it up a bit more because I know a lot of you don't like when I have a long series of lessons just adding little tweaks just to polish things up and adding these lots of little tweaks. I know some of you um, don't like that you get a bit tired of it and that's absolutely fine. So I might break it up, just depends on how many videos it ends up requiring. But I will leave you here for this lesson. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.